<coughs> okay. I'm gonna explain how to rig for dinosaur similar A OK for those that wanna get their models in, do some animation. I have a separate video for animation, so this is just gonna be rigging, short and sweet, right? So basically you want to make a model. This doesn't look like it, but <laughs> It's a remake of um, the dinosaur I made in my other video, so, but, I'm, I'm kind of lazy this time, so, yeah. So, basically, you want to make the model, make sure all the parts are named, right? So, this right here will be named Torso. I like to name my legs LG1 Part 1, LG1 Part 1. Only because it's just in case I make, let's say I make another model, right? Make another model, it has like five parts in the leg, one leg, right? So it's not as low detailed as this. But the next part that's connected to LG1 part 1 will be LG1 part 2, LG1 part 3, LG1 part 4. It's just to keep organized, I guess. LG1 part 3. Part one, LG one part. If you if your character has like twenty legs, good luck. It's probably not gonna make it in the game. Just kidding. At neck, I like to call this head fake head, right? Instead of head, I'll show you why later. So fake head, tail one. Tail 2. I also like naming parts like, let's say the neck part had like two parts to it, right? The part closest to the torso would be like the lowest number, so this would be tail 1. Tail 2, because tail 1 is closer than tail 2. So tail 1, tail 2. Okay. And what I use to rig is a custom character creator. I'll, it's a plugin. I'll, um, Link it in the description later. Alright, so you click on the model, click on the plugin, edit, right? What you want to click on is bind. See, what you're binding, it says right here, please select the base part, right? Your legs, they aren't your base. Your torso is your base. So what you want to click on is torso first. And then one of your legs. Torso first. Another leg. Torso first. Another leg. Bind. Torso first. The last leg, right? If you want to see if you messed up or not, you can click edit. And it'll show you. This is why I really like this plugin. It'll show you your joints. Right? If you messed up, you accidentally added a joint. You can click release. And then click on the joint. And that's how you delete it. Alright, finish, let's go back to edit, and bind. Torso, tail 1. Alright, see right here? Here's the exception. For your legs, the torso is your base. But for tail 2, torso is in your base, right? But for tail 1, torso is the base. Tail 2, tail 1 is the base. So you want to click on tail 1, and then tail 2. So basically you're connecting everything together and then torso is basically, how do I explain it, the, the biggest part, it's like your chest in real life, your torso in real life. Your arms are connected to it, your legs are connected to it, your, your um, neck and your head, right? If you move your head, your ears, your eyes, your mouth, your nose move along with your head, right? But if you move your neck, your head, and everything connected to your head moves along with it. So, the base of your ears would be your head. The base of your head would be your neck. The base of your neck would be your torso. So, just keep doing it. Base of your neck is your torso. Base of your neck, I mean base of your head is your neck, right? Now what we want to do here now is um, edit, 
I like to connect everything first and then edit the joints. You want to click on your joint, right? Click K and I'll let you move. I don't like moving at full. I like moving by like an increment. So I, I usually click L until it's one tenth, like I'm moving by one tenth. And you want to place it in between your parts. So basically where you, you're going to re rotate the part, right? You're not gonna, it's hard to explain when you don't have the animation editor, but it's like your shoulder, right? Your arm is connected to your torso, but the joint is where your shoulder is located. It's not connected in the middle of your torso and your arm, right? Or else you'll be moving your arm like a windmill. So we have to move the joint in order for it to move and rotate in the right position okay so you you want to do that with every part the legs also the legs aren't going to rotate in the middle of the torso they're going to rotate where it connects the middle of where it connects so just move every joint i like to make it symmetric so one way of doing it is the, the arrows that come out for movement have it match like the middle of the ball for your other joint do the same thing for every joint bam same thing connect and connect there we go Ooh. okay you do the same thing for your neck. You you have to do it for every part, which makes it really time consuming. This could take up to like half an hour, based on how how many parts your model has. This is a basic nine, what do you call it? nine part model, right? But it still takes quite some time just to rig it. So basically, you're done. Your your model's rigged, right? But for Roblox, how humanoids work is your model needs to contain a humanoid, which is this, a humanoid. And it also needs to contain a torso and a head, right? And it also needs a joint that connects the torso to the head. So. You know how I called this fake head earlier, right? It's only because I don't want names in um, Roblox when you have... Okay, I'll show you real quick. In Roblox, when you have a head, it displays the name of the model on top of the head when you insert a humanoid and the health bar, right? We don't want that. Well, for my games, I usually don't like that. So what I do is I call this fake head. And I insert, I insert another part into the model. Right? Generally, I, I you can insert it anywhere. But I like having it where the head is. So, and then... You call that part head. Right? It'll still show the name. That's why you want to make it invisible. So you click on head, transparency, change it to one. So now it shows your head. Right? It shows your fake head. Your invisible head. Invisible head. And so now it doesn't show the, the statuses anymore. And what you want to do is connect the torso with that invisible head you just made, right? One way to check if it's connected is by opening up an explorer looking at the, um, the joint. So right here it says torso is connected to fake head. You don't want that. Sometimes that happens. It overlaps. So... Since it's invisible, it doesn't matter if it's a little offset. Whatever. Right? Connect. 
click on the model, connect torso with head. Right? I'll say it right here, torso is connected to head. Alright. Basically, you could become this. If you have the right script, you could you could be this model now. Right? But for animation, you need a part called humanoid root part, right? Um, th there's a bunch of other rules that come with humanoids, humanoids, right? It's like, for humanoids, you need a right leg and a left leg touching the ground. So you need a part called left leg and right leg touching the ground in order for it to jump, right? Another rule, another exception, let's say you don't want a part called right leg or left leg, right? You could have the humanoid root part, humanoid, okay, that's all caps, humanoid root part, touching the ground. If the humanoid root part is touching the ground, then your model can jump, right? It's also where your model is, I guess, placed. This is the base, right? Let's say your model was in the air, right? And your humanoid root part was right there, right? Turn it invisible. Your model would fly in the sky. But if your model is touching the ground, and your humanoid root part is touching the ground, right? Your model would be walking on the ground, basically wherever your humanoid root part is, right? So, usually, uh, how do I explain this? How do I do this? Usually I just leave it like this. I put it, the size, I like having it like a big block like this because I ran into um, problems where if your humanoid root part is too small and your model is really big, then your, it goes, it just goes funky, okay? It goes crazy. So I usually like having my humanoid root part this big, make sure it's in the model. Ooh. And you wanna attach that humanoid root part to your torso. So humanoid root part, attach it to your torso. Bam. And that's it. That's how you rig a model. The rules you need to know is make sure your humanoid root part always Make sure it's facing forward. You know how I said how your torso should be facing forward? Right? Now that you have a humanoid root part, basically your character goes off your humanoid root part. The direction, how it rotates, blah blah blah, right? So if your humanoid root part was facing, let's say I rotated it, right? It was facing this direction, right? Your character would move sideways. Like, I could go forward, but the character model would be sideways. That's why you want to be... That's why I said to um, build your models facing forward. It's a good habit. Usually when you have a base plate, it's the bottom of the R. Or you could check with surfing, surface, whatever. Surface, check the surface, check the front surface, changing, change it to stepping motor and see which direction it's going in. But yeah. This is basically good for animation editor. Basically good for your animation editor. It's good to go. When you open it up, when you're trying to animate something, copy, paste, you can animate something real quick. Mm. Copy, paste. Woohoo! Sorry, I'm just doing something dumb just to show that it works in animation editor. Woo woo! Oh! Oh, okay. What I forgot to mention is that... Whoop! Good thing I made that mistake, right? So now I can show you guys how not to make that mistake. Primary part. Let's make the primary part, the humanoid root part. So now when we move our model, oh, it's not moving. <sighs> fail. How to fail as chicken engineer. Alright. When you're animating, why am I showing you how to animate? Well, when you're animating, 
you anchor it, right? You have to anchor your humanoid root part. If you don't anchor your humanoid root part, it's still basically animation and editor runs your place, right? So while it's running your place, scripts run, things that are unanchored go haywire, blah 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 blah. Well, not haywire, they do what they're supposed to do, which is fall to the ground. Your place is running. Okay, whatever. This video was only supposed to show you how to rig. Alright, bye.